challenge him, resist. There's a little bit of Islamic karma that happens. Those people who don't stand up to Zalimin, God unleashes the Zalim on the person. The Imam, the Prophet says this, Man a'ana zalim. So the person who helps the zalim, because Imam Ali said, the person who's silent, who won't speak up, who won't connect the dots, that person is helping the zalim. They're not with the Imam. Whoever helps the zalim, the Prophet says, Man a'ana zalim. Salatahu Allah alayhi. God unleashes the zalim on the person. If you remember the Battle of Uhud, do you remember in the Battle of Uhud when the Muslims could have resisted and then the Muslims thought, let's run for the hills and save our lives? And then they paid a price for doing that. They almost lost the Prophet of God. Hamza Sayyid or Shuhada was lost at the time when they should have, they did. Another example, do you remember the 4,000 or 5,000 people who stood up after Imam Hussein? When the Imam called them, they surrendered. They didn't, they didn't stand with the Imam. The Tawabin, six months later, they came to the defense of the cause of Imam Hussein. They were all slaughtered, right? They were all slaughtered. With, if Imam Hussein had 4,000 people, what would have happened? He had 72. I don't know how many of you guys saw the movie about Mukhtar. Do you guys remember it? In the end of the movie of Mukhtar, when they talk about his Shahada, Mukhtar, I had to look this up in history because it was so unbelievable. Mukhtar is surrounded by Mus'ab ibn Zubayr. Mus'ab ibn Zubayr tells the people who are with Mukhtar, if you surrender, there's amnesty, right? Surrendering, if you surrender, there's amnesty. Mukhtar went out with a like, few followers. He fought, he became Shaheed. Don't you know they slaughtered 7,000 people like chickens? So this idea that it's smarter, no. The intelligent, the intelligent knows that there's a price for resistance, but the price for surrender is much worse. So the intelligent resist. God is saying with emphasis, definitely, truly, surely. He says, definitely Allah will assist. If you do your part, God will stand with you. He will help you. He will provide you. Resist. God makes it easy. Then he continues, In Allah, truly Allah, la qawiyun. God is all powerful. He's qawi, he's powerful. Aziz, and God is invincible.